Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you uh, can help me out with doing PCB breakdowns for uh, for photos of things uh, that, like, w when you send in photos of something you own, uh, this is super helpful. And especially on some motherboards, this is just, like, absolutely necessary. Like, right now I've got an A... Uh, somebody sent in a Z270X Gaming 9 motherboard pictures, um, and the pictures are great, except there's one minor issue. Uh, I can't tell how the phases in that VRM are laid out, and that's actually very similar to what you see right here. Uh, at first glance, this may look like a five-phase V-Core VRM, except that right there is an on-semi control, uh, on-semi NCP81022 uh, voltage controller, so this can't actually be a five-phase. Um, and I'll show you how you can actually figure that out without knowing what the voltage controller is or any kind of data sheets. So. If we want to figure out how many phases this has, we're going to need a multimeter, and we're going to put it in resistance mode. So right now it's in resistance mode, and if I just do that, then we can see it's zero. So basically we'll just check the resistance from choke to choke to choke to choke, and then once we find a choke where we get a different resistance, well, a non-zero resistance, we know it's, a, it's not part of that uh, VRM. Well, it's like a separate set of phases, it's not part of that. Uh, well, yeah, basically it's not part of that VRM. So basically, we go for this one, and then the one next to it, it's zero. Also, the side of the choke which you measure from does not matter. A choke is effectively zero ohms resistance, uh, because it basically just draw, uh, it basically blocks AC current, so the resistance measurement of a multimeter is unaffected. So as you can clearly see, it's reading more or less zero. Now, if we go from this that choke to this choke, we get more, still zero. If we measure to this choke, we still get zero. If we measure to this choke, we still get zero. So that's our first four phases in that VRM. And then we go to the fifth one, and we get 25 ohms. So this one's not part of like, so this one, this one, and this one, and this one are all phases in parallel with each other. So that's your four phase V core. And then this final one is separate. So that's our, uh, is separate because it's reading a different resistance. It's not connected to any of the other chokes. So we know that one is a separate uh, voltage. So basically, um, if somebody sent in a picture of this card, what I would expect you to do was would be just like have a green tri like green circle around the four phases that are together and then like a red circle around this separate one um, because that basically tells me right off the bat that you know well we have four phases here that are separate from this fifth one because otherwise this looks like a five phase vcore vrm on any picture it really like it's impossible to tell and if this wasn't an on semi uh, on semiconductor uh, NCP81022, like if this was a 3567B, I'd never be able to figure out how many phases this has from a picture. Um, it's absolutely impossible because this, like, it, well, you can sort of tell the power planes on the back um, are, like, you can sort of tell that there's a separate power plane right around here from what you have for V-Core, but that's just like, that's, no. Like, you, because it could, it might look like it's separate, but this is a multi-layer PCB. For all I know, that little island of what looks like is separate could be connected to the rest of the VRM anyway. So really, um, I need those multimeter checks where you basically go, all the chokes that measure zero to each other are, you know, all the chokes that are connected in parallel, those are a group. And then whatever reads a different resistance is not part of that group. Now, if you have a multi-GPU, GPU and you do this kind of thing and then it'll actually make a mess because you'll end up with something like this you measure from Say we're measuring from the V core choke and we'll measure to Ground if I can find one There screw hole. That's a good ground. So you can see we're reading like three ohms three three point seven ohms resistance right now That's the GPU cores resistance. It's very very low. This is actually relatively high um, GTX 1070s, for example, read zero. They just straight up read zero because their resistance is in the range of sort of milli ohms. So unless you have a very expensive four, po you know, four point uh, milli ohm meter, you're not actually getting a measurement on those at all. You can't figure them out. Um, but most GPUs, you're looking at around an ohm. Uh, lower end GPUs, you're looking at even higher resistances. So there you can easily tell, like if you measure from a V-core to another V-core for a different GPU on a du dual GPU card, 
uh, you'll see like say basically you'll see the resistance from v core to ground for the first core and then from v core to ground for the second core and it'll add it it'll add them up because basically that's the that's the series resistance so that's for this card uh, let's take a look at a motherboard with a different type of choke well, let me just get that so here we have the asus b350 plus board um it hasn't blown up yet, and I have run it on liquid nitrogen for a very, very, like, I, I gave it a shot of liquid nitrogen with no insulation around the socket, which I'm surprised it survived that, but it made it. Um, but this, you know, for most reviewers on YouTube, they'll go like, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, this is a six-phase uh, CPU power VRM. Well, that's useless, isn't it? Uh, let's flip it over. And so, basically... We'll just take the chokes of uh, the legs of the chokes, um, which, to be fair, those are pretty well. They're not hard to recognize. You just need to be able to orient yourself around the PCB, basically. So we can see that we have capacitors here, right? So we have those capacitors right there. Then the chokes are behind them. So we know right off the bat that all of these very fine legs right along there, actually, those don't show up at all. But this fine line of con like through hole legs. We know right off the bat that belongs to the capacitor bank. That's not chokes. So we can go and l uh, actually go for the larger points uh, behind that. And this motherboard should be a 4 plus 2 phase. So let's check that, right? So can you see the... There we go. Nope. That actually glares it. The There. Well, now I can't measure. So <laughs> that doesn't work. Come on. I hate cameras. Like it's like, it looks really bad on camera, but it's not that bad in real life. There we go. Just need to get the angle right. Anyway, so we'll measure from this choke to that choke. Zero. Next choke, still zero. Fourth one. So this is our last phase in this VRM in the V-core VRM. So that's four. Still zero. Well, if I hold the probes right, it's zero. Um, and then if we go for this one. We can see we're reading several kilo ohms, and that's because there's no CPU currently in the socket. If I had a CPU in the socket, it'd be like that GPU where it'd be reading like tens of ohms, maybe hundreds. Really depends. Like GDDR5 is in the. Uh, it, I've seen some cards where the GDDR5 reads into the kilo ohms, um, but yeah, it really depends. But basically, if it's anything above one ohm, you're guaranteed that it's not connected. And even one ohm on like a GPU tells you that you're going through the core and then into ground and then through the next uh, through the next thing. So, yeah. So basically, these four. Right, that's zero. Zero. And I am going through these quickly because I know they're zero. You should probably let it settle first okay so that's zero so you have all those zero and then we go up here and we can clearly see that's not zero that's not even close to zero that's kilo ohms then we measure from that one to this one and we get zero again so we know that these two phases up here those two phases up there connected um these four phases along the side here also connected but they're not connected together so basically we know this is a four plus two because we have four phases in one group and then two phases in the next so this is not a a whole six phase um it's a four plus two and you can do this for pretty much any motherboard anything uh you know this is like the least risky way to figure out how 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 your phases are separated out in a uh in a vrm where all the phases look the same and for me it's super super helpful when uh when doing pcb breakdowns on th like some especially like somebody sent in the z270x gaming 9 motherboard from gigabyte that's a 22 phase vrm around the cpu socket and it's made up of like f off the top of my head i think it includes vccsa vccio uh igpu power and v core so i have no idea what part of that VRM does what? And it's very, very, like, that's basically why that breakdown's been on hold is because I don't know what part of the VRM to highlight and say, oh yeah, this is vCore, that's vCCSA, that's vCCIO, that's, uh, that's this, that's that. Um, is like, I can't do it because I just don't know how the VRM is wired. So yeah, but this is a really quick way you can figure out how the phases are separated out. And if you just send me that information, then 
you know, I can generally figure it out from there. Now, if you want to actually know which VRM does which voltage, then you actually need to have the system running and then multimeter in voltage mode and yeah, stab. Well, you know, you'd still want to figure out how the choke, like the phases are separated out. So then you don't have to go and check each choke for voltage because that would just be ridiculous. But yeah, um, so that's it. So yeah, if you're if you're sending in pictures of motherboards or GPUs and the VRM looks like it's going to be really hard for me to figure out, which basically if you can't tell how many phases, how the phases are grouped, there's a pretty good chance I won't be able to either. So just get me the the measurements. You really don't like they're not super difficult to take, especially if you've already taken apart whatever it is you're sending pictures of. So yeah, it is. That's basically the reason. Um, also, if you you know want to figure out how many phases whatever you have has and how they're wired, then yeah, this this is the way to do it. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below or any questions you may still have. Uh, if you would like to support what I do here, then there is the AHOC support page, which you can find down in the description. There's shirts, there's a Patreon, there's a PayPal, there's a there's the junkyard where I'm getting rid of hardware I've used for actually uh, for for past videos and no longer want to use anymore. Uh, oh, and one more thing, I finally got the so this time for real, I've actually gotten the post box stuff, uh, PO box stuff sorted out. So if you would like to send things in, you just need to send me a message or an email to buildzoid at gmail.com and uh, we'll talk the, we'll go through the details there. But that is finally sorted out. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.